one of the biggest things that everyone's talking about is obviously Matt Vey. Um, calling the little guy here the magician, getting this guy over here. Um, but, <laughs> but in all honesty, like, we really thought, like, it would be three years. And we did, too. Yeah, yeah, right. I mean, that's what it, it seemed yeah. to be, and, and which was fine. But to get him this early, like, I, I, obviously, to me, I think it's only going to help him get used to this game. It's going to take time. I, I We talked about last week just – Obviously, this kid's like there's a lot of pressure being put at him, but I'm sure you guys are being like, hey, just yeah. be yourself, play your game. But it's got to be hard for a kid like him coming over. Correct. Obviously, the expectation um, are, are very high on him. Um, I, I think it's going to be a tough year for him. He's, he's going through a lot. He has to adapt to, um, you know, <laughs> a new continent. A new country, yeah. a new language. It's uh, it's a big, big change for him. He's only 19 years old. Sometimes we forget that too. Yeah. Um, you know, going into it, we we thought we'd wait three years, but when this opportunity came, um, to have him right away, uh, to get the kinks out of him right away with a, a coach like uh, Torts, uh, to show him how to be a pro. Uh, to start his career, that's that's what I'm excited about. Yeah. You know, if we get him in three years, he's probably a little um, more developed, a little bit more mature, um, a little bit more ready. Um, but he's still going through the phase of you know adapting to yeah. a new environment. So I, I'm glad um, he comes in earlier. You know, we're not maybe quite uh, where we're Stanley Cup contenders yet. Um, so it, it gets a leg up, I feel, um, you know, on developing his career under, um, you know, a good coaching staff and, and a group of players that were developing along the way with him. So it, it's we're, we're very excited about yeah. it. Oh, yeah. yeah it's, sure. it's awesome. It's very exciting. How does that conversation transpire? I mean, are you sitting in the office and the, your phone rings? Or, you know, like, how do I, I mean, share what you can, but, like, is, yeah, is it, it out of the blue or was it something you're kind of working on? Um, the, the, most of the conversation came through the agent, yeah. uh, his represent, representative. And, sure. um, you know, they're the one that did most of the work in the background to uh, make it work and bring him over here. And, uh, you know, we were there for, for support um, and kind of, you know, decisions here and there on what would happen. But uh, uh, most of the work was done by their uh, his agent. And dealing with his uh, KHL club. Correct. Oh, okay, right. Yeah. yeah. So then so yeah. some bit of an easy lift. You're kind of just waiting to see what they could do. And then... Once, yeah, once and then, you know, I mean, he, he, Madve had, has already been through a, a lot in his life, um, some trauma there, and uh, the team uh, realized, and they wanted to give him the, the opportunity, um, you know, to, to come in early. Um, and, and also, I feel, uh, you know, they're working on trying to smooth out the relationships with uh, the IIHF and the NHL, too, okay. over there. So, um, you know, there's, there's a lot, lot of those little tidbits uh you know being talked talked about uh with the agents and, and the team over there yeah well it's, it's certainly exciting and and we've talked about this before in the pod like the way he's carrying himself uh, you know he said he's 19 years old but he seems like a, a mature 19 yeah uh, he's ha- he seems like to be handling this scenario pretty well yeah he's so pretty far. funny on social media he is, eh? um his personality has been, been great around the, the guys and he's trying hard uh, yeah. to speak as English as much as possible yeah. so he, he's still not comfortable and having sentences but he understands a lot of the stuff um you know he's been hanging out hanging out with a lot of our uh, veterans, young veterans, yeah. guys like Forster and Faraby, York, Drysdale and company, and uh, Delorier Hathaway have been back too. Um, so, yeah, it's been a, he's been really a lot of fun to have around, and he's tough to get off the ice. Yeah, yeah. He wants to be on the ice constantly. Yeah. Peel him off. Um, yeah. So he's what we call, the, call over here. He's a rink rat. He yeah, loves right. being on yeah. the ice. Yeah. Uh, you know. you, good thing Joey Mullen's not still coaching here. Yeah, those two, right. you, you sleeping at, the at rink, night. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they could never get him off the ice. Yeah. Yeah. He seems to have a great uh, sense of humor, too. Like He's cra- like, yeah. legitimately trying to crack jokes and can't even speak like, yeah. English. Yeah. Yeah. Give him credit. It, yeah, know, he's like, he's trying. He's he's witty. He's quick. Yeah. Um, awesome. So in, it's it's exciting. It's yeah. exciting. But it, at the same time, I, I think it's going to be a trying season, trying to get sure. his his repairs and what he can get away with in the NHL and not. And um, you know, he's 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 going to be coached hard, mm-hmm. uh, but he's he's going to learn a lot this year. Yeah. Maybe 
Maybe uh, it, it could be a good thing that he doesn't understand everything. If, if Torch is upset, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't think you have to know the language to know Torch is either. upset, but, <laughs> yeah. but we were kind of joking about that the other yeah. day. That that's popping on the side of his head. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, it, might, it might let you know that you might have made a uh, mistake. He'll understand the body language <laughs> yeah, pretty quick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or he, as you can see, you'd always have, Slava, get Slava over yeah, here. Yeah, right, <laughs> man. Like, yeah. Tell him this. No. Nah.